Welcome to another Filmmaker Reacts. Really love doing these videos uh, because I love to see what the magic of Hollywood brings to the cinema. And uh, I love that you guys are sending me these clips in so that I can have a look at them and see what sort of things have been done in the past. Uh, I think we've got four clips today to have a look at. And I'm really, really excited to have a go at these. So without further ado, let's have a look and see what the first one is. So let's play this. Okay. So this is Inception. All right, okay. Oh, okay, I remember this scene, yeah, this is in the, in the meetup, yeah. What an explosion that is. Oh, I, oh, actually, they did that in real, they did that in real time, that was real. That's pretty amazing, that is, that is pretty amazing. You're not telling me that they did this avalanche for real as well. Oh, this is the scene where they're fighting in the room and the, the hallway, the hallway is turning around. And they actually built that hallway and then rotated it on a massive jig, effectively. With a couple of cameras and it is rotated. That must have been so hard to work out what was the floor and what wasn't the floor. That's mental. And a weird, weird like forever stairway. Which is a bit crazy. And they built that for real. Yeah, that's pretty bonkers. You'd do that, you know, wherever you could in CGI, I suppose. But I mean, if they love, they love uh, real practical effects are just absolutely amazing. So this train, going down the street is actually a car or a lorry underneath the body of a train so it just looks like that's pretty amazing absolutely amazing that's that's crazy let's just go back to that a second let's go back to that train and do that again because that's just mental so that's just a, that's just a truck it's just a it's just a basically an articulated lorry or a semi if you're in uh, America Underneath a, underneath a body of what looks like a train. So, must have a driver in it then. Smashing into stuff. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, to be fair. That's pretty mental, absolutely mental. They, they go to the lengths of like, building an entire train body to fit over the top of a lorry. That's, that's pretty cool, that, that, is pretty, that is pretty cool, to be fair. Next. Ah, okay. We've got Spectre up next. Yeah, I know this one. Yeah, this is pretty cool. These are well, these are well renowned. These films are like sort of the proper special effects, where it's like practical stuff rather than CGI. You know, if they need to blow some up, they blow some up. So we, what we talking about? What we're talking about here? Wow! Look at all that explosives. Holy moly! He's Bond himself. Look at that explosion. That is mental. Wow, look at the size of it. That must have been absolutely awesome to be, look at it all. That must have been absolutely awesome to have been involved in and just, even from the side, the building it side, rather than just the acting. Looking, at, looking on it, it must have been absolutely amazing. Now I do know something about this particular explosion. I know that that got into like the history books as like the largest explosion ever in cinema. Um, it was like the biggest thing that would ever been done basically. Um, and, and I don't think it's been topped since. As far as I'm aware, I don't think it has been topped. There's been plenty of bigger explosions, um, but most of those are VFX rather than being practical effects. So it's all like CGI rather than practical stuff. So, so I think that for the largest real explosion, I think Spectre was uh, it's the, the record holder at the moment. So let's go to the next clip, what we got next. Let's have a look. Oh, we have, yeah, Mad Max. Now this Mad Max is just pause that thing. Mad Max is absolutely uh, full on, definitely um, 
uh, did all the vehicles and stuff for themselves and had actors on wires and stuff like bouncing about all over the place and what have you. It's like virtually all. Uh, there is some CGI in it, but but a lot of it is is basically practical stuff where they're they're definitely doing it for real, so to speak. So like all the cars and stuff in this were, were absolutely spot on, um, and they, you know they were blowing things up left, right, and centre and what have you. You know, this is absolutely amazing film. Um, really, really clever from a filmmaker's point of view to see how it was all it was all done in in real terms. You know, I mean, look at that, look at that, look at that. That lorry, a whole lorry, just like sort of boom straight into it. Absolutely fantastic. That look at the camera crane. Look at the, look at that camera crane at the back there. Let's just look at it and see it again. That is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, so here we go, we've got a split screen of, of them adding in the mats for the other vehicles around it because I mean that's such a big explosion, um, you couldn't have all those actors next to it, it as close as they are, but it is absolutely unbelievable how they did it all. You've got stuntmen absolutely going off, it's a bit like Cirque du Soleil, they've got like so many things going off at once, you know, it's like all happening all at the same time and then you're having to try and act around it which is mental. Okay. So what we got up next, and let's go straight to the fourth one because I'm getting a bit excited now. Okay, so this is the Dark Knight. It's Heath Ledger, bless his socks. There he is. Ah, yeah, wow, look at that. Unbelievable. That's a fantastic. Look at that, blowing up a whole building. That's pretty mental. To get to just do an entire building and not have to, you know, you can just go ahead and do it. You've not had to mock it up in any way. It's just like a derelict building you're doing. Now, I know something about this. Um, I read something about this. The, the explosions didn't go off properly how they actually wanted them to go off so they were like ha you know it's, it's got you've got one shot to blow this building up you can't go back and do it again and it didn't quite work um, and there was a bit of a delay in the ex rest of the explosions catching through and going and it going off so Heath Ledger as he came out did this like tapping of the of the uh, remote control thing as a complete sort of just made that up on the spot ad hoc sort of move uh, and it fit perfectly with the explosions going off, starting to go off again behind him when the rest of it caught up and they got it, they got it sorted. Um, and it just, it was just total improvisation by Heath Ledger. It was just like, I'm just going to bang this. Why is this not working? You know, as, as you would do, wouldn't you? I mean, I would be bang. I mean, I'm obviously not insane or a psychopath, but if I was that, you know, if I was wanting something to go off or I'm wanting something to work, first thing you do is give it a bit of a tap, don't you? Whatever that is, even if it's your phone. You know, if my phone's not working, I'm like, come on. So it's, it's, it's yeah, it's absolutely amazing that he could just on the fly with all this stuff going off around him, big explosions going off, you know, and this building's going to come down around him. Um, he's still able to just go, oh, do you know what? I'll just improvise something there and I'll, I'll, I'll make it work. And it absolutely pinned on it. It was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I think that's it, mate. I think that's absolutely everything that we've got um, for today's Filmmaker Reacts. They are absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. It's just, it, it blows my mind that these people can, can put all this stuff together um, and it's the, the engineering and technicalities in blowing something up is just unbelievable when you think about it. To be able to control all that, make it as safe as you can possibly make it, yet make it look absolutely amazing is just such an amazing skill. And to do all these things and then fit them in around a story uh, is just unbelievable really, absolutely unbelievable. I hope you enjoy these, I hope you enjoy these as much as what I do because I really, really, really love uh, looking at the stuff that all the, the, the proper professional uh, cinematography and filmmakers and uh, you know all the guys in the crew and stuff that do behind the scenes to just bring an hour's worth of enjoyment to the screen for us to just escape into um, and, and you know not have to think about the daily worries of whatever's going off um, and it's yeah it's just absolutely 
absolutely amazing. Nothing finer. I think it's such a great art form. So with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.